Hello everyone. Uh, so at this moment, I will show you how to uh, do Anthropus classification or clustering using K-means algorithms in our engine. So I'm using a lot of imagery here. Uh, so where I composite it into in one year. So one year composite. Then I call it master image to get the better image. You know. Then I sample image. You know. So I get the raster points uh, value, you know, uh, like 50,000s which the sample can be uh, trained train, you know, uh, using this algorithm, a uh, cluster that means in 15 classes, there's the classes and I train it, this use the samples, then apply it to the image, uh, the simple step. Let's try to run it. So I'm running it in Chilachap, which have the quite diverse uh, geography, as I say. So there is a mangrove, there's a quite a swamp forest, I think. And it's a forest, city, uh, rice fields, so so many places. This is the image. I'm using the near sort of infrared and below composite so that uh, the vegetation will look red. Look red. Uh, well, the. Well, the what? Well, the, uh, the rest look yellow. Yellow mean like slow vegetation. You know? And the uh, blue one is water. So near sulfur and blue composite. So this is that uh, using two classes. So there's some two classes here, which is divide some classes. Uh, so this blue class, <laughs> you know, so many classes. For example, uh, this this green one is class I guess I don't know, class eleven. While this I think it's uh, it's a rice field is class fourteen. Uh, how this class? I don't know. It's like 14. But, mm, let's try we increase the classes. You know, you know, like, so I'm using only uh, the image that I don't use any index. You know, maybe if you put index, it will, ch it will change. Probably, I don't know. So if we put 25 classes, what will it be? Let's check. Yeah, it takes a while. Maybe because uh, there are so many classes, I guess. But okay, we can we can wait for the results. So it's the classes. Hmm, it's quite weird classes, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's okay, we can. Uh, oh. I need to extend the, the visualization to 25. <laughs> I fault, <thought>, sorry. <coughs> yeah, so this, uh, oof. yeah, so this is the axis, I guess. But again, uh, it's a little depend on interpretation, I guess, how to define which classes is which, because it's quite horrendous. <laughs> okay, so you know how to do a uh, clustering, you know, uh, of a supervised classification. Okay, so you can try it on using indexes maybe using elevation too. You can use elevation, and that's it. Thank you. Goodbye.